But what are these hugely successful business persons like as people? Are they real people? What are they like as parents? Do they have a humane side to them? So Renuka, tell us, where were you born and where did you grow up? I was born in Delhi and grew up, I should say, all over India. My father was in the army. So I went to many schools and moved every two, three years. I passed out of school in Pune, but I did my college in Bombay. So what did you study in college? What did you specialize in? German. German? German. So you're fluent in German? I'm fluent in German. At least I used to be. I'm fairly okay still. I don't think it was a time where people thought that they should do things because they needed a job. They did things because they liked them. And I liked this. So I did it. But it also gave me a job. I taught German in India after that. Oh, you were like a German teacher? You were teaching yes, German? Yes, I taught German. Almost till the time I got married. When I was young, I didn't want to get married because I said I'll go back to India, try and do some social work for the country. And uh, marriage was not even on. The, but what happened is when I started losing my family, there were times I felt, what, what's the next step for me? So I decided I'll get, go for arranged marriage. It was just getting married to the right girl. So I went to India, and that's how I married Renuka. And how many years have you been married now, you and Renuka? Uh, good question. I think about 30, 32 years. When you ventured from teaching German and being into a businesswoman, mm. you just aspired that, okay, I want to have my own business. And you just decided that? No, I didn't. I didn't work for the first 12 years of my marriage. I got married, brought up my kids. It was only when we moved to Dubai that I took a call that I needed to work. I ventured into it. I said, OK, let's see what this is about. But I never planned to be in business. But then I never planned to learn German or teach German. So maybe I stumbled well into things. Renika, who's the boss in the house with you and Mickey, the real boss? I think me. I think, you know, we, Mickey's a person who's left the home to me. I was the one who decided where the kids went to school, who actually built the home we have today. So I think in this case, I would say it's definitely me. I think we are both bosses in our each different ways. A lot of things she takes a lot of her decisions on, and I listen to her, and there are a lot of things I take decisions on and she tries to listen to me. And who's the one who disciplines the kids right now? Of course, they're not kids anymore, they're, they're adults now. They're not kids but anymore, the they're years, adults. In the growing small. up years, who was the real disciplinarian in the family? Mickey was always the indulgent father. He was always there who would be there to treat his kids, be nice to his kids. So that was a role which obviously I played. Okay. And I hope I played it well. I think if anybody brought up the kids, it was Renuka. I wasn't uh, much of a, you know, like the kids must do this and live like this and behave like this and, you know, a lot of that advice came from Renuka and choose the colleges and whatnot. So she's been more there than I have been. So they are real people and doting parents and very much human, like any one of us. But yet, they are different. Mickey, we just want to say thank you very much for your time with the interview. It was very nice chatting with you, and we hope thank to see you soon. Okay. Thank you very much. That brings us to the end of this episode and this season of Top Guns. In the next season, we will bring you up close with another 12 Top Guns, who will surely motivate you and inspire you. Keep updated, please visit us at topgunsworld.com or our Facebook page. I'm your host, Anish Akhtiani, signing off. Masalama. Movie like Ben Hur, yes. for example, Classic. inspired me a lot. Yeah, I think I've been very fortunate in that way that I've done things which I've enjoyed thoroughly, that you know they've been challenging, they've been interesting, they've moved on and gone on to something else.